Blog Talk Radio. You know, I, I've been studying prophecy and astrology uh, since I was a wee one, mm-hmm. and um, 2012 is only the beginning. I don't mm-hmm. believe it's our end at all. Well, tell and, us what uh, you see for these, this. It's it's <laughs> going to be an astrological uh, melee until 2020. Mm-hmm. That's the reality of it. It's going to be well, tell, struggle. Tell us what what is your vision of this uh, coming time? I'm always fascinated to hear how people are seeing it. I don't think any of us know, not for sure. You know, I say I I in in a way um, one of my deepest fears is that nothing will appear either large or small on the surface. You know that that the average person will not be able to see the the. Uh, the manifestations of change all around us. But I have to tell you, I feel the future is now. We're on time. For the first Mm -hmm. time in my life, I know I'm on time. And we're Mm -hmm. all proceeding as we're supposed to, organically, despite intentions, prayers, or deep fears, or maybe because of them. Well, as as a wizard, I can relate to that. You know, a wizard is never early, nor is he late. He always arrives exactly when he is meant to. <laughs> absolutely, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Off, you know. That is absolutely true, and uh, shamans are the same way. But yes. uh, I would have to say that um, I always told my students, and uh, during shamanic boot camp on the first day when I'd line all four of them up for their major lectures, I would say, put all your grandiose nature behind you, because being a true indigenous active shaman means to be a celestial garbage collector. Mm. <laughs> yep. <Ooh. laughs> and I think that's yeah. the reality. And and I think yeah. people uh, like me, people like you too, uh, we're, that's what our major calling will be in the next few years is just to clean up the messes the best we can. Oh, That's what yeah. I always say to these uh, people who want to get raptured. I figure, you know, come on, get out of here. Go, go, go. Just, you know, don't worry about us. We'll stay behind and clean up the mess. Yeah. Uh, please. <laughs> really. Please leave. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Please leave. Please leave now. <laughs> your, your, your time is over. Your show is closed. Time to clear the stage and get out. <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. Right. Right. Well, you know, and 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 another the other side of the coin is people getting stuck in safety. You know, yeah. I have yeah. in uh, this last decade, I can't tell you how many times I've heard, "Oh, I can't go there because it's not safe," or "I don't mm. talk to that person because it's not safe," or "I don't oh. travel because it's not safe." Guess what? Mm. Safety is illusion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And for all of these people who are de- determined to survive mm-hmm. uh, uh, craziness at all costs, I have to say to them, yeah. the hoarding of ideas for the sole purpose of personal survival without competition is futile because we're all equally affected in compromise. Mm-hmm. Indeed. And to take it one step further, I have to say that we have to stay vulnerable and open to the changes themselves. Mm-hmm. Not welcoming necessarily, not having a band out to meet them, but but brace because yeah. this process is integral. It's our evolution. We're changing. The planet's changing. The universe is changing. We we have to stay strong and courageous. That's the trick. We have to stay. We have to survive as meaningful members of society, or there's no point. Yeah. I was talking to a shaman, um, a Taino shaman, an indigenous shaman from Cuba, a couple of years ago at the Starwood Festival, and of course that was that was you know he had studied at great length with a lot of Mayan elders about 2012, so that was of course the first question everybody was asking him. And they were expecting some, you know, immense, well, there'll be a huge pole shift and, you know, blah, blah. And, no, what he had to say was, look back 26,000 years ago, the last time we finished another great age. What happened? A huge creativity, a huge explosion of creativity. That's what's going to happen again now. And and 2012 is just the start. Nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. I do, too. I do. There's a wonderful book. 
I think you've read it, Oberon, about the the creative explosion. That's the name of it. Yeah, yeah, the creative explosion, right? Really, uh, really beautiful like title. Beautiful, beautiful title. And beautiful I really think that's book. true. I really mm-hmm. think that's true. If we are open to evolution and to improvement, mm-hmm. you know. Regardless of what anybody believes or feels or um, or uh, um, defines for the future, if we rise each day with the sun, with a positive attitude, we face today as a challenge, and we're brave, and we we do it with promise and bravery. We can't lose. So mm-hmm. what if we die? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what Sorry, if we're we just die? come back again. We wrote the rules. We go right. into the next thing. <laughs> See, you know? that's that's the point that I think uh, the bottom line for Circle is that we are living Godhead. We do we do uh, write the rules. We do have the answers inside. Mm-hmm. If we quit trying to ascend off the planet to some illusionary uh, play heaven in the clouds, mm-hmm. we go inside, we, we see what we've manufactured from ourselves, and we decide on a better way, mm-hmm. we can succeed at this thing called... 